So to start a little bit around me, my name is Jose Moran. I'm the country director for Zambian Breweries. I'm Ecuadorian. For those who don't know where Ecuador is, it's a small, small, small country uh, in South America. This is, uh, uh, before that, uh, 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 being here in Zambia, I was in Mozambique. I was a commercial director for the same company. I worked for AB InBev, which is the biggest brewery in the world, which is the owner of Zambian Breweries and is in uh, 55 countries. Um, definitely, I do believe that I cannot say that we are, um, that I can talk a little bit around how to open a new business or how to be an entrepreneur. But I do believe that running a business, especially in our continent, requires a lot of entrepreneurship, uh, 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 um, view or spirit. And also being an expert, because uh, this is the fifth country that I'm living in, requires a little bit around being an entrepreneur. And I guess that what you guys are looking for is somebody to tell you from their experience what it takes and what are the things that I have learned so far. And the first thing that I, I learned, which is, can sound cliche, but it's very true, is around being an entrepreneur is getting uh, out of your comfort zone. And definitely something that I keep uh, learning every day is that if you really want to stretch yourself and, and achieve superb results, it's around getting out of your comfort zone. And that's the reason why I'm here. That's the reason why I left my home probably around 15 years ago. That's the reason why I have been already working in, in Africa and the continent for the past eight years, loving it. Uh, and especially that's the reason why I would like, and one of the reasons why I'm here, is not only because being here and working in Zambian breweries, working with the community, working with the markets, allow me to, to grow as a person and learn a lot and allows me to do a lot of things. It's also because there's something that I would like to invite you, young entrepreneurs, to do, which I call smashing the TIA label. Do you know what is the TIA? What it means? Yeah. This, is this is Africa, okay? And for those that have learned, listened to that label, it's something that foreigners use a lot. But it's not, it's not used in a positive way. It's usually it, it, it's a pejorative way. It's a, it's a negative way. And I would like to invite you guys is to believe in yourself, exactly what you guys are doing while you're following your dream, and do the best to smash that label and show that we can achieve world class. And that has been our journey in San Bimbris. When I arrived also, we have always been a, a good company, a solid company, more than 50 this year. We are getting, uh, we're making 56 years in Zambia as a business. And definitely a very solid uh, 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 organization. But what I can say that in the last three years we have been doing is we want to make it going from, from, from good to great. And the first thing is, okay, how to build a great organization. And it's a little bit what I'm gonna be talking to you. But why is important? Because we need to feel the pride around what are we doing, that we are Zambians, that we have great quality people, great quality uh, uh, brands, like the ones that my organization sells, but the most important thing to dream that we can achieve it. So how we started? We, our organization, ABNB, is a company, what we call a company of dreamers. Our global dream, for those that have got the chance to get it, to log into our website, what has been into any Zambian breweries uh, uh, speech that I have been given, I always talk about our dream is bringing people together for a better world. And it's about that. But when I arrived to Zambia, I started thinking, okay, what we can do to really drive uh, 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 this uh, uh, big dream? But it, 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 although it was a nice dream, it's something that is a shared dream that like brings us together, people were not understanding. So I said, okay, how we can do something that is more localized? Because the first thing that I need to do to reignite this team, to make them believe that we can achieve great things, that we can be world class in Africa, world class in Zambia, was to put a little bit of Chitenge into that dream, okay? <laughs> to make it a little more local. So we said, okay, if, if we said that there needs to be one goal, this is one nation, what about doubling the size of the business in the next three years? And we came up with a dream together that said that uh, on something very simple, 
measured on hectoliters. It's the way we measure the, the volume that we sell. And we said, okay, what about becoming a 3 million hectoliters by 2020? This was 2017. And for those that work with us, we were in the middle of a, a, of a transition where we used to be a multi-beverage business, where we have beer, we also sell, uh, we used to sell Coca-Cola, we have national breweries, which was Ichibuku, and we have Hendrick Brew, uh, Beverage, which was uh, Maheo. And all together, we were three million hectoliters already. So I was coming to tell the people, the guys, from now on, that we are selling everything else. We're just staying with beer. We're gonna become three million hectoliters. So it was a crazy dream. Crazy dream, uh, and, and really, I believe that a dream needs to be big, crazy, bold, even ridiculous. Because if the dream is not ridiculous, it's not something that really you aspire something great like that, first of all, you will not cut the, cut the attention of the people, and you will not really drive something big. And even if you don't get that, and this is again a lot of cliche around, okay, yeah, shoot, uh, aim to the, to the sun and you will get to the stars, but it's true, huh? It's true because you're stretching yourself. And something very important that it, our, our global CEO always said is that it takes the same amount of energy, same amount of, of, of brain utilization to dream big or to dream small. So why dreaming is small, isn't it? So the first thing that we did was, okay, Let's get here, the first town hall I got. Let's double the size of the business in the next three years. We didn't even have the capacity to do it. That was a crazy thing. But uh, we didn't have the resources. We didn't have the, the, the brands, the portfolio to get us there. And it has been amazing because since then, back then we were selling 1.5 million hectoliters. By the end of this year, we're gonna be making 2.4. And I hope that really by next year, we're going to be able to get close to that 2020 dream. Double digit growth, and not only a lot of volume, but very profitable growth, excellent double digit margins, above the 45% margin EBITDA. And I'm going to get financial, but the numbers of Sambian breweries are available because we're a listed company. So you can see what has been the, the performance of the business so far and what we keep thinking it's going to be, even though in a challenging environment. Because we all know what is happening out there. We know what is happening with the Quacha. We know around inflation. We run around the downgrade of Zambia from a credit rating point of view. We know about the load shading and the impact it has around running businesses. We know around now the implementation of the new sales tax model, so on, so on, so on. But I'm not here to talk about the government. I'm not here to talk about economy. I'm just here to talk that we as a business, we believe that this is a great country, that there's a great opportunities, but the first thing that we need to do is prepare ourselves for that. To be able to have a company that is flexible, a company that has not only great brands, but also great people, and that has a right culture to be able to face any challenges. And that's why I'm so confident and so calm, I can go to sleep very calm every night, not thinking around the inflation or the FX rate. Yes, it's a problem, but I know we are working around that. But what it takes, what it takes is to create this business. It's a high performance business. It's a little bit around what we said, start with a dream, start with this big dream, a company of dreamers, and then you need to make sure that the dream is aligned through different systems, different methods to performance. And that performance is around like the athletes, always setting the bar higher. It's like, a, because if you set a standard and you have a good group of people that are always stretching themselves, they will all, always hit the standard, but they will stop there, isn't it? But if you're always raising the standard, you're always raising the bar. And I, I remember when we, when we made the transition from the previous owner, ACB Miller, into the new ownership, Avin Beb, has been three years already. We were complaining around the budgets, around the targets, that is unachievable, that is impossible to get there. And guess what? We have been exceeding them three years on a row. So the obstacle is just in our minds. And we say that, and you as entrepreneurs, you will understand that. That is not just around dreaming big. 
is really stretching yourself. Stretching yourself in everything you do until you break it. It's like when you stretch something, a rubber, until it breaks, and then you build it again. We always said that in order to be able to construct, you first have to disrupt to be able to construct. It's the same type of uh, thinking around keeping stretching like an athlete is preparing for, um, for, uh, for the Olympics. If you not keep stretching you, okay, this is my standard, I already have exceeded or, or, or break a record, what is gonna be the next level? It's very important around that. And finally, finally, what we always said around uh, uh, the organization is that, and you will learn that through your experience, is that it's all about understanding what are your gaps. We are a big, big organization. We're the biggest FMCG in the world. We're the biggest brewery in the world. Five of every 10 beers drink in the world are ours. So you can understand how big we are as an organization. But we know that there's always, always somebody that is better than us in something. So we are not afraid to, first of all, ask. We're not afraid around stealing ideas. We call it steal with pride. Not stealing money, that's wrong, okay? Coping with pride, because we know that there's always somebody better than us. On a personal level, there's a lot of things that I, I guess that you do better than me that I can learn from you. But sometimes you need to be self-aware around that and be open to learn, be open to question yourself, to put yourself on the spotlight, okay? And it's all around opening gaps and closing gaps. And once you have closed a gap, closing a gap is like, let's say we set a target that we want to hit $100 million EBITDA for this year. The moment we hit it, it means that the gap has been closed. Now we have to set, open a new gap. Now we want to make 150. And in everything. Everything that we, that we do is around opening and closing gaps. That's really around, that is gonna make the difference around making it or not and working hard towards that. And something very important is always looking up. Because the moment you are not looking up, you are not looking for who is better than you or who is doing it better than you, then we become lazy. We become comfortable. And I, I can say that it was something that was happening in an organization probably three, four years ago because we were already, we were already a big player. We are the market share uh, leader, and we were posting very good results. But for example, our results, just to give you an idea, we're selling a lot, but our margins were around 25%, 30%. Now our margins are more than 45, as I said. We're not gonna learn from the, uh, from, from the people that are doing a lesser job than us. Can we, in Zambia, be in a 50 million population country with, with the size of our organization can work at the same level or have the same profitability numbers than a South African business and a Nigerian business. And I'm proud that we're getting there. Actually, something that I want to share that I'm very proud about what the team has done is that for the first time, we got between the 250 uh, best companies with a bigger uh, uh, market capitalization in Africa. And we are the first Zambian business that gets there. Was, thank you. It was not a mine that got there. Although we are one of the biggest uh, uh, copper producers in the world, isn't it? It was not a mine. It was a beer company. So, and creating those type of benchmarks where we wanna be and then creating those milestones that we want to achieve is what we call looking up instead of looking down, forgetting that we are competing in Zambia. I see the market being Africa and comparing ourselves to get there. Still, there's a big, big journey for us to get there, but we're getting closer. And that has been the dream. So when I first got there, it was talking to the people, convincing them about a dream, convincing them that they can do it. Because there's so many things when we are growing up that we see so many limitations. 
So many people telling us that we cannot do it. And then when we come and tell them, okay, you can really achieve something, you can really do better in our, in our global uh, benchmark, we can have a brewery within the top 10, we can be the best performing in Africa. People sometimes look at you and think, this crazy Ecuadorian, what is he talking about? Cannot even speak English and he's telling me <laughs> that, uh, that we're gonna be among the best in the world. And I was telling them, guys, I, I come from a, a place in the world where 30, <laughs> where 30 years we were similar like many of the countries here in Africa. And now we have so many successful people coming from Latin America. Why you allow other people to tell you because? Going back to the same com topic around TIA, smashing the label of TIA or changing the concept <coughs> that yes, this is Africa, but positive. Or this is Zambia, that we can do it. 